Yo, what's going on traders? What's up team? I hope you're all having a lovely time. It's Rafael back again. And in today's video, I want to talk about yesterday's trading session. We took, uh, we took a sell position and I gave it a second chance. Then we switched sides and then we made some big money yesterday. Yeah, it was a little bit of back and forth. Um, I was trying to catch the flow of the market. Uh, took two losses in a row and then the third trade when I switched side was the right one. And yeah, this one gave us a really good runner. I'm very happy with the profit. Uh, it was crazy month, guys. It was really a crazy month. I made more than 50% of my account balance. Uh, as you all know, I started to trade with a $200,000 account and the account is at 332,000. That's really, really, really crazy. 50% profit in a month, guys. Um, ridiculously crazy. Um, yeah, but why? Why I made 50%, guys, and how I did this? The formula is very simple. Risk equals opportunity. If you want to make big returns, you've got to take big risks. It's easy as that. Or you gotta have a really, really, really high accuracy and crazy risk reward ratios. Um, but yeah, I'm, I don't have the best risk reward ratios here on planet Earth, but um, I'm willing to take risk when I see there is opportunity. And when I see there is an opportunity, I like to play it big. That's how I made the most money in my career, especially on gold. Was, I had crazy times with our loading it up strategy on gold. Yeah, made crazy trades. And I had students who flipped their 50 or $100 accounts into more than $4,000 in just one trade. So there are ways that you can make a big chunk of money very quick with trading. But of course, on the other side, you can lose everything. That's, you have to know that you can lose everything. Especially when news events hit the market, guys. Let's get into the charts real quick. I'm going to talk about yesterday's trading session, what we did, how we made the money. And non-farm payrolls is running right now. As you can see, the market just, just slashed down a thousand, thousand pips here on the C-Trader platform. It's, for me, this is like 100 pips because it goes from 500 to 400, but in just a minute, guys. You see this? This is ridiculously violent. Just imagine being long in here and then the market just slices through your stop loss and you're not getting stopped out. Let's say you had your stop in here and the market just moved so quickly that your stop never got triggered. News event can be very violent. I love to, I love to um, stay out of the news event, see what's happening, maybe step in after the news has hit the market. And yeah, the reason why news events make so crazy moves is because the liquidity is gone for a second so that just a few orders can move the market like really huge, big time, you know. And that's why these news events sometimes go crazy up and down like boom, boom, and uh, yeah, stop out everyone, you know. Yeah, the reason is because the liquidity is gone for a second. The liquidity that is sitting on the sideline side is gone, and then it can make like big moves, crazy moves, you know. Uh, because if you have the liquidity on the passive side, sitting on the sideline, on each and every price level, then you first need to buy or sell out the sideline before the market can move to another price level you know and when the liquidity on the sideline is gone it can move like boom just straight through it you know of course there are some new trading strategies that can um, maybe work out i'm not 100 percent sure about that you can make or do your own research i'm not trading news because i know it can go violently wrong <laughs> all right but after a news event hits sometimes i try to catch the rebound or something like that uh, but anyways let's talk about yesterday's trading session fellas um 
what we had in here, this was my runner on this one, I made $16,000. That was a lovely trade. This one was running from 17,283 until 17,448. Yeah, yesterday it was moving beautifully to the upside. But let's talk about how we started, guys, because if we take a look at our in my telegram channel where I shared every trade guys let's take a look real quick yesterday's trading session um oh yeah Amsterdam was lovely guys just look at that steak man they burnt my steak I had a porterhouse steak for just 49 euros guys this was so cheap I had 800 grams of porterhouse and it was amazing beef man i have no idea how they can sell it for so cheap but it was a lovely steak anyways yesterday i started selling nasdaq as you can see i've shared my trade with everyone in here as you can see um then i've gave it another chance a second chance i sold it again and then i was selling gold as well um, but gold was a break-even trade because it was not moving. I just closed it and I was like, nah, forget about it. I made all my money on Nasdaq yesterday. And then I told everybody that Nasdaq clearly wants to fly and I'm, I'm about to buy. My target was around yesterday's high. And yeah, then the market was really flying and I was able to bank crazy profits, guys. If you're not inside the Telegram channel yet, check the link in the description down below. Join the free Telegram channel. I share some of my trades in there. And yeah, let's trade together. Let's start with the first selling opportunity in here. I started selling in here, guys, because I saw that we took out a lot of liquidity to the upside. Overall, the Nasdaq was going down the previous days and I expected some downward movement. That's why I started selling this thing yesterday. But I had to understand that this thing wanted to fly yesterday and I started to change my mind because I cannot stick to a plan that doesn't work out. If the market shows me it wants to go the other way, I need to trade the other way. Simple as that. But what was happening, guys, the market was breaking out to the upside, stopping all the sellers out from the London session, right? Stopping all the sellers out. And of course, taking a lot of buyers into the market. And I thought this is a trap because the market was dropping after that pretty aggressively. And then in here, I, I started to sell because I was like, okay, this might just be like a little fake out move to the upside before it wants to drop below yesterday's at the previous day's low. This was my target. This is where I wanted to take some profits. I told everybody that uh, 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 17,170 was my first target, take profit target. The market hit exactly 170, but then from there it just moved around. Because yeah, this was the next turning point, because this was the next the next zone where a lot of liquidity was sitting. If you see this one over here, this was a pretty significant low, intraday low, right? Um, the market just took it out and then after that it turned around against me. I got stopped out in here, lost 20 grand. Man, I was really risking a lot of money on that trade. Because I was loading it up when I saw it drop through this, I, I took some more positions as you can see and I wanted to see this thing go down. But then it came all the way back, worst case scenario happened and I got stopped out with $20,000 minus. Okay, then we took out this high in here and I was like, okay, now it turned around again on the one minute time frame. Why not give any, I just wanted to give it a second chance, okay, so I gave it a second chance. I uh, had my stop sitting somewhere above in here and I was still aiming for the yesterday's low. I wanted to see this thing go down, but it came back up again and I was like, all right, now it's time to buy because this thing don't want to go down. And I had to understand it the hard way. I was losing a lot of money, 
But then I started buying this thing. I started buying in here, then I bought here again. And then I was waiting. I was waiting patiently until this thing pops. Just before it pops through, yes, uh, through the previous day's high, just before that I closed the majority of my position because I didn't know maybe it wants to just go down, uh, just go above and then slash down again because we've seen a huge drop here uh, just before that like the previous day. So I took the majority of my position out in here just before that thing was popping up like crazy and then I took some more profits up here. This is the biggest trade that I've closed yesterday with six this was the biggest position 10 lots $16,000 then I had another one here $12,000 and then another one with 6777 so yeah I was playing it big time yesterday guys and we made the money as you can see I'm more than blessed guys $117,000 in in let's say let's say in in one month Right, so more than 50% of the account. Wow, that's a crazy result, guys. Um, let's see what February uh, got for us. Maybe we going to we are going to make another 50%, which would be another 150,000. Then would then we would be at around half a million dollar on this account. <laughs> That would be crazy. Let's see. I'm going to try to flip this thing like crazy. And I'm going to keep you updated, guys. Stay updated on the Telegram channel. Join my free Telegram channel. And drop me a message if you want to learn something. If you're willing to learn something. Contact me in Telegram. Let's talk. I have a lot of valuable stuff to share with you. And yeah. That's it for today, guys. i see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And I wish you a lovely weekend. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Peace. Yeah.